Good day, everyone. Today, our group are going to present what we have learned from the journal Activity-Based Costing, or ABC, an effective tool for better management by Ishtar Mahal and Muhammad Akram Hussein, PhD, both from the University of Dhaka. I'm going to start with the introductions. Management accounting is well recognized as a resource for helping management to take decisions, devise strategies, and to operate controls. Ever since there is a lot of potent changes in businesses' environment, and also there is a very vigorous growth of global competition, this event has shown light to the shortcomings of the traditional management accounting system, or you might know it as MAS, in terms of validity, completeness, consistency, relevance, and understanding. Because of this, more green management accounting tools such as activity-based costing is needed and are actually in high demand because this firm need this modern tool to stay competitive and to stay well in their game. Well, what is activity-based costing? Well, activity-based costing is or has been developed and encouraged as a way to resolve the systematic inconsistencies of conventional cost accounting and to restore relevance to managerial accounting. A traditional system reports what money is spent on and by whom, yet it fails to report the cost of activities and processes, said Miller in 1996. Aranov et al. in 1998 said that there are two purposes of activity-based costing. The first one is to prevent cost distortion. What is cost distortion? Cost distortion occur normally because traditional costing combine all indirect costs into single cost pool, making it very easy to do, but also in inaccurate. Cost distortion is prevented in ABC by adopting multiple cost pool activities and cost drivers. This way, it's way more accurate, albeit it is more hard to do, harder to do. The second one is to minimize waste or non-value added adding activities by providing a process view. This is also to make the result the result of the cost that they are calculating way more accurate. Now, why? Why activity-based costing? As of right now, many manufacturing factories already adopt the activity-based costing. And surprisingly, it's showing a positive result. Activity-based costing is motivated by a belief that traditional general accounting information, as unfortunate as it may be, is not very useful for managers interested in assessing the effectiveness of resource allocation decision in their businesses. Activity-based costing is used to give managers better information to assess their allocation of resources. Conversely, the traditional information is geared towards satisfying auditors or other outsiders interested in some evidence of financial accountability of the verb. Once again, why activity-based costing? Well, if you are in managerial accounting and you want to assess how effective you are in allocating your decision, rather than using the traditional ones, which are inaccurate, you should use the activity-based costing, making everything accurate and way more reliable to use. In, on the other hand, if you are an auditor, or other outsider interested in your financial accountability, go ahead and use the traditional ones because those are actually more useful to you instead. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Amy Farzana Binti Hanafi and my matrix number is 273837. So today I will be presenting about the implementation of activity-based costing. So before you design an ABC system, there are six decisions that 
you should decide first before designing the system. So according to Cooper and Kaplan, there are six major decisions that should be made before a company designs an ABC system. Those six decisions are should the system be integrated with the existing cost system or should it be a standalone system? Uh, the second decision uh, is should a formal design be approved before implementation? And the third is who should take ownership of the final system? The fourth is how precise should the system be? And the fifth is should the system report historical or future costs? And the sixth is should the initial design be complex or simple? So uh, there's also a demonstration of the relevance of ABC in manufacturing and service organizations. So uh, by answering these questions, you would know what, uh, how relevant is the ABC system in manufacturing and the service organizations. So the first one is conditions favoring the application of ABC. The second one is factors against the implementation of ABC. Uh, the third is the timing of ABC. And the fourth is the implementation of ABC. Okay, for the next part uh, is the implementation process. So there are six steps for the implementation of the ABC system. So the first step is to identify and define activities. So for the activities, we can refer to the cost hierarchies under activity-based costing. So under this cost hierarchy, uh, there are four costs, which are output unit level cost, batch level cost, facility sustaining cost, and also product sustaining cost. So after defining the activities, you should also define the activity cost pools. Uh, the second step is to directly trace overhead costs to activities and cost objects. So the third step uh, is to assign costs to activity cost pools. And the fourth step is to calculate the activity rate. And the fifth step is to assign costs to the cost object. And the sixth step is to prepare the management report. So next, I will be presenting about the implementation of the ABC system in different cultures. So there are different uh, implementing accounting rules uh, in certain countries. So in this journal, they compared between the US and the United States, US, and the German activity-based costing system. So between those two countries, uh, they have found some areas of distinction. Uh, for example, is the concept, the different concept of cost, the purpose of the US and the German ABC system, the difference in construction and the cost allocation, and the quality and quantity of cost information and the area of application. So talking about the different implementation process between different countries. The main argument is that cultural differences create obstacles for implementation of successful accounting technologies and practices. So uh, the accounting treatment needs to be modified to follow the culture in that country. So that is all for me. Uh, thank you. Hi, my name is Nur Amira bin Abdul Majid. My magic number 257158. So today I will present about advantage of ABC system that is um, activity-based cost system. So for the first point is ABC increase operational performance by allocating overhead cost based on actual consumption of the resource by each activity. So this point means uh, ABC system identify the real nature of uh, cost behavior and help to reduce cost by uh, identifying the activity which is do not add on add on value to the uh, product so manager can control manifest cost behavior uh, by 
control the fixed cost activity any activity that cause the uh, fixed cost overhead For the second point is ABC recognize the interdependent of cost drivers to the activities. So it's mean ABC trace the activities that uh, cause the cost object. So a ABC system use multiples of of cost drivers, many of which are transaction based rather than product volume. Third point is the decision about improving pricing, marketing, product designing, and product mix can be made more efficiently by implementing an ABC system. So this point means ABC improve greatly the manager's decision if the manager want to make the decision because of they can more reliable, reliable product cost data. So they have the data so they can more efficient efficiently to to do the decision abc also have used the in fixing selling price of the product because they have the correct data and lot of data so they can do the uh, good decision Next point is uh, ABC system is suitable method for correct and accurate information why this is advantage of ABC system because of ABC system brings accuracy and reliability uh, in product cost determined focusing in um, cost and effect relationship in the incurrence so it recognized that is activity which cost cost not the product so which um, well, where the cost come on so they will check at that uh, causes not from the product for the last point is ABC identifying the weak product lines and accurate cost ABC help to increase organization efficiency and profitability so this mean ABC system uh, can provide better costing information it's a lot of information by using the ABC system and this will help management to uh, manage efficiency and gain the better understanding for the uh, firm that uh, competitive advantage strength and uh, weaknesses as a conclusion for uh, advantage of ABC system uh, from the article Muhammad Akram Hussein I already see a few of advantage of ABC system the first one is increase operational performance second is recognize interdependent activities give correct and accurate information and identify the weak product lines so um, my friend will uh, present about this advantage of ebc system so that's all from me i'm your amira binti abdul majid thank you for your time hi assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is sadatul aisha binti hamja and my matrix number is 273362 Today, I want to present about the disadvantages when we're using activity-based costing system. As my friend said previously, activity-based costing system has so many advantages and give us the most accurate of product costs. Also, activity-based costing system is the best costing that we know in terms of helping us for making better decisions. And yet, we also know that there are many companies that has not been implemented with activity-based costing system. The question is why? Why is it happen even we know activity-based costing system is the best and the most accurate system? Why is not 100% of companies using activity-based costing system? 
clear answer is there are several disadvantages when we using activity based costing system as our method to assigning overhead costs and indirect costs. So let's we talk about this. Firstly, probably the biggest disadvantages when we use activity based costing system is ABC system is more costly to maintain if we compare to traditional costing system. Because the main cost and the limitation of an activity based costing system are the measurement necessary to implement it. Activity based costing system require management to estimate the cost of activity pools to identify and to measure cost driver to serve as cost allocation base. Even basic activity based costing system require so many of calculation to determine the cost of the product and the services and this measurement are very costly and also need to update it regularly. So from all of this we can see that activity based costing system is more costly if we compare to traditional costing system. Secondly, the implementation process of an activity based costing system is very complex for managers to understand and it also produces a numerous data activity measure require collecting and checking process activity based costing system has numerous cost pool and multiple cost driver and therefore it can be more complex than traditional costing system some difficulties emerge in the Implementation of an activity based costing system such as selection of cost driver, assignment of common costs and varying the cost driver rate. Because all of this complexity, the process of decision making will take a lot of time and become more lengthy. Third, resistance from the management as manager are accustomed to use traditional costing system to run their operation. Fourth, activity-based costing system data can be easily misinterpreted and must be used with care when we use it in making decisions as there are huge amount of irrelevant data in activity-based costing system information data. Fifth, in practice, most manager insist on fully allocating all the cost to product, customer and other costing object. In an activity based costing system including cost, hidden capacity and organization sustaining cost. This is result in overstated cost, understated margin, mistake in pricing also other critical decision. Next, if no one in the organization Let's look at the new activity based costing cost and profitability information. The project team will be disappointed because to prepare activity based costing system information is very difficult. It's not easy because it takes a lot of time and takes a lot of data. Also, the consultants are not very familiar with companies operation and also companies problems hence they fail to support management in some cases lastly resistance will arise because some people feel threatened by the suggestion that their work could be improved so based on all of this uh, giving us an idea of some of the reason that activity based costing system has not been implemented to all firm so that's all from me have a nice day and thank you very much assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh so today i will be presenting about the last part of our presentation uh, which is the conclusion before i start with the conclusion let me introduce myself first so my name is Muhammad Amir Shafiq bin Muhammad Taufik and my metric number is 273691 so today in my conclusion in our group conclusion I will summarize everything about this journal and also about the ABC based costing 
and also I will give my opinion about the HBC based costing. In conclusion, this journal is all about to know how to develop a clear concept about the theoretical aspects of the ABC based costing, such as the implementation of the ABC costing, the advantages and also these the advantages. When a certain company want to change the style from a traditional based costing, they need to take note on a few things to ensure that the change is successful and not to become a failure. Therefore, this journal is a right platform to show any company that want to change their style of costing. Next, this journal also give various information about the relationship between ABC and other management accounting concepts such as the activity-based budgeting or we call it ABB the theory of constraints that we call it TOC or the supply chain costing or the total quality management and etc. There are many more management accounting concepts that this journal are uh, differentiate between ABC and most of the management and cutting concept. With knowing this relationship between ABC and management and cutting concept, it will be easier for a certain company to make up their decision into changing into ABC based costing from the traditional based costing. Rather than that, with an enough knowledge of ABC based costing, it will make it easier to implement in any countries that need to change. In this journal also, it also it also shows that the implementation of the ABC in Bangladesh. So this journal is the right platform for any company or any countries that want to change to ABC. Even though this journal is about Bangladesh, but other countries can use it as a guideline to follow in the implementation. Activity-based costing has already come up as a new generation concept in trade and commerce. It has changed the traditional view of cost and management accounting itself. It also measures costs more accurately than other volume-based cost systems as more accurate overhead cost allocation leads to few distortion and it also acts as a performance evaluation tool. The system introduced some burning issues like ABM, balance scorecard, benchmarking, TQM as a, as a performance evaluation tool. For the last part, I will give my own opinion about the ABC based costing. In my own opinion, um, ABC based costing is way more better than any other traditional based costing. It is because I think that ABC takes more costs into consideration rather than the traditional based costing. So therefore, when we um, take more costs, it will be more specific to um, get the overhead itself. Next, the uniqueness of the ABC itself is that each cost pool has its own measures of activity that make it so unique than other costing that usually only use volume measure to allocate all of the cost. So therefore, I think ABC is the best way to implement in costing. So with that, I will end of a group presentation with stay safe. Stay home. Wabillahi Taufiq. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you.